With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. So the question says, we have two columns, column 1 and column 2. So in column 1, four compounds are given and in column 2, four reactions are given. So we have to match column 1 and column 2, the elements in them accordingly. So here, the first reaction is decolorize bromine water. So decolorizing bromine water means the presence of pi bonds. Presence of pi bonds. So alkenes and alkynes usually decolorize bromine water. So here we have uh, in C and in D we have these alkenes. So alkenes these two al these two compounds will decolorize bromine water so for a uh, for c and d we can link these two with this option p now in the next reaction it is given effervescence of carbon dioxide on reaction with nahco3 now nahco3 is a weak base weak base so we need a strong acid in order to react with NaHCO3 to form a salt of sodium Na plus along with that water and carbon dioxide. So a very strong acid would release carbon dioxide on reaction with NaHCO3. Now amongst these one these uh, compounds, this COH group is a very acidic group, so this will release carbon dioxide along with um, uh, on reaction with NaHCO3. Now this 246 trinitrophenol though this is a phenolic OH group and OH group do not react, do, uh, does not react with NaHCO3 but here we have three very strongly electron withdrawing groups at 2, 4 and 6 positions and these withdraw the electron density on oxygen through mesomeric effect. So this becomes a very strong acidic group and this will react with NaHCO3 to liberate CO2 gas. So this will also do it and in C we do not have any acidic group so this would not react with NaHCO3 and in D we have this acidic group that is COH so this group would react with NaHCO3 to, for, uh, to liberate CO2 gas. So for Q we have A, B and D. So we can write A, B and D are linked with Q. Now, in the next reaction we have this one. Oxidation, uh, oxidation with alkaline KMnO4. So, this also indicates the presence of alkenes. Now, in, uh, out of these compounds in C and D we have alkenes. So, we can write that uh, option R or C and D are linked with option R and finally in the last reaction this is written react with sodium metal so sodium metal reacts with acidic groups so if an acid reacts with sodium metal so the H plus from acid reacts with sodium metal to form Na plus a salt of sodium and along with that hydrogen gas is liberated so this is half H2 now the ones that are containing acidic groups will react with sodium metal so here we have A that contains an acidic group this is COH which is an acidic group here phenolic OH is an acidic group and furthermore it is linked with three electron withdrawing groups at two four six positions now this C, the compound in C does not contain any acidic group so this would not react with uh, sodium metal and in D we have this acidic group that is COOH so this will also react with sodium metal so we have our matches A, B and D are linked with S so finally we can con conclude our matches that for, for A we have Q and S. So, for A we have Q, S. For B we have similarly Q and S. So, this is Q, 
and S. For C, we have P and R. So, for C, we have P and R and for D, we have all four. So, for D, we have P, Q, R and S. So, for D, we have P, Q, R and S. So, this is the final answer of this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.